Welcome to the era of the Great Depression, where escapism and glamour were antidotes to harsh realities. In 1933, against the backdrop of economic hardship, the film Gold Diggers of 1933 emerged as a cinematic gem, providing audiences with a dazzling spectacle that transcended its challenging times. Have you ever wondered about the impact of a single scene or moment in a movie? Perhaps, like many, you hold a cherished memory associated with this classic film. As we delve into the intricacies of Gold Diggers of 1933, we invite you to reflect on your personal experiences with this cinematic masterpiece. Before we unravel the tapestry of this timeless production, we'd love to hear your stories and memories. Is there a particular scene or moment that has left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Now, let's set the stage with some random facts about Gold Diggers of 1933. The film, directed by Mervyn Leroy, not only showcased the dazzling Busby Berkeley dance numbers that became its signature, but also navigated the challenges of its era with a mix of wit and charm. It stands as a testament to the resilience of the entertainment industry during challenging times. As we explore the depths of this cinematic treasure, consider your own cherished memories associated with Gold Diggers of 1933. What personal experiences make this film unforgettable for you? Share your stories below, and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of this classic. So, buckle up for a journey back in time, and join the conversation. Your stories add a layer of richness to the tapestry of this cinematic experience. We look forward to hearing from you. Gold Diggers of 1933 is a classic musical film directed by Mervyn Leroy that emerged during the Great Depression, offering a dazzling escape into the world of Broadway and romance. Originating from the successful stage play The Gold Diggers, the movie cleverly weaves together the struggles of four aspiring actresses with the challenges of producing a Broadway show during tough economic times. The plot unfolds against a backdrop of lavish musical numbers and showcases the iconic choreography of Busby Berkeley, whose innovative routines became synonymous with the film. The characters, including the effervescent Ginger Rogers and the charismatic Dick Powell, breathe life into the narrative, contributing to the film's enduring charm. Notably, the movie's satirical take on wealth and the pursuit of success resonated with audiences of the time and left an indelible mark on the era's cultural landscape. Its impact on popular culture extends beyond its initial release, influencing subsequent musicals and setting a standard for glamorous, escapist cinema. In essence, Gold Diggers of 1933 stands as a testament to the resilience of the entertainment industry during challenging times, leaving an indomitable legacy in the history of film. In Gold Diggers of 1933, a subtle nod to Broadway excellence emerges as Barney Hopkins mentions the Astaires in a conversation about theatrical prowess. This reference alludes to the reigning brother-sister duo on Broadway, Fred Astaire and Adele Astaire. Interestingly, Ginger Rogers, who would later become Fred Astaire's screen partner, is present in the room during this exchange. The movie also captures an in-joke related to Dick Powell's dislike for repeatedly playing juvenile leads. Joan Blondell reveals that Powell detested singing and playing such roles repeatedly. In a clever twist, the stage production's lead in the film protests that he has been a juvenile for 18 years, providing a humorous nod to Powell's sentiments. Adding a touch of behind-the-scenes challenges, the Shadow Waltz number presented unexpected difficulties for the cast. Dorothy Coonan Wellman, a cast member, recalls that she and other dancers experienced constant electric shocks from the wiring used to illuminate their violins. This electrifying experience, though unseen in the final shot, adds an intriguing layer to the movie's production challenges. These subtle details showcase the richness of Gold Diggers of 1933 beyond its on-screen glamour. The film not only entertains with its Broadway escapades, but also embeds nods to Broadway legends and offers a glimpse into the intricacies of production, making it a fascinating piece of cinematic history. In the production of Gold Diggers of 1933, a noteworthy detail surrounds Ginger Rogers' Pig Latin rendition of We're in the Money. While various claims exist regarding its credit, Rogers attributes it to Warner Bros. executive Daryl F. Zanuck, as stated in her autobiography. Aside from the on-screen dynamics, the film's behind-the-scenes intricacies are revealed in the dual-unit approach during filming. 
Mervyn Leroy's unit tackled the non-musical aspects within a 30-day schedule, contrasting with Busby Berkeley's unit, handling the musical numbers over a separate period. This dual unit system, reminiscent of the approach used in 42nd Street, showcases the meticulous planning and execution involved in bringing gold diggers of 1933 to life. With Leroy and Berkeley at the helm, the film seamlessly weaves together narrative and musical elements, capturing the essence of Broadway during the challenging times of the Great Depression. The dynamic between Dick Powell and Joan Blondell, who later married in 1936, adds a layer of intrigue to the film's history. Fans speculated on Blondell's role in Powell's life, particularly in relation to Ruby Keeler, Powell's on-screen sweetheart in numerous movies. Notably, Keeler was already married to Al Jolson, revealing the off-screen complexities that sometimes mirrored the on-screen drama. These behind-the-scenes glimpses into the making of Gold Diggers of 1933 provide a richer understanding of the film's production challenges and the relationships that shaped its narrative. From the pig Latin controversy to the dual-unit filming method, each detail contributes to the film's historical significance and lasting impact on cinematic history. The 1933 movie Gold Diggers of 1933 underwent significant changes during production. Originally slated to conclude with the light-hearted number petting in the park, the studio opted for a poignant shift. The politically charged My Forgotten Man was added at the end, a stark commentary on the contrast between the glamour of the cast's prosperity and the harsh reality faced by many in Depression-era America. This thematic shift is evident in the final backstage scene where Ruby Keeler and the chorus girls wear costumes for the upbeat number, emphasizing the remnants of a bygone era. Amidst the film's intricate dance routines and glamorous fod, a notable aspect is the inclusion of Edda Moden in the Remember My Forgotten Man number. Not only does she lend her voice to the film, but she also appears on screen, uncredited, portraying a war widow. Edda Moten's involvement adds depth to the movie, as her on-screen presence aligns with the emotionally charged content of the song, contributing a poignant layer to the narrative. Furthermore, Gold Diggers of 1933 bears traces of the pre-code era with scenes that pushed the boundaries of the time. Trixie's veiled reference to marijuana, humorously expressing curiosity, and a male stage hand's physical gesture towards a chorus girl highlight the film's daring nature. These instances provide a glimpse into the liberties taken in storytelling before the enforcement of stricter content guidelines. In summary, the evolution of the film's ending, the impactful inclusion of Edda Moden, and the subtle nods to pre-code content offer a multifaceted view of Gold Diggers of 1933. Beyond its dazzling musical numbers and Broadway escapades, the movie encapsulates the complexities of its time, making it a compelling piece of cinematic history. As we bid adieu to the glittering world of gold diggers of 1933, take a moment to let the echoes of that era linger in your thoughts. The magic of this cinematic gem is more than just black, and white frames it's a portal to a bygone era, a symphony of timeless stories, and a canvas painted with the hues of human emotions. As the curtains fall, let the melodies of Busby Berkeley's choreography dance in your mind, and the wit-filled dialogue serenade your imagination. What resonates with you in the tale of struggling artists navigating the Great Depression? Is it the resounding echoes of We're in the Money, or perhaps the poignant resonance of Remember My Forgotten Man? Gold Diggers of 1933 is not merely a film, it's a testament to resilience, artistry, and the indomitable human spirit. Did the characters' struggles strike a chord with your own journey, or did the glamorous escapades transport you to an era you can only dream of? We invite you to share your reflections, your cherished moments, or even your favorite quotes. Let the discourse on this cinematic masterpiece continue beyond the screen connect with us and fellow enthusiasts as we unravel the layers of this classic. Thank you for taking this nostalgic journey with us, for allowing the magic of gold diggers of 1933 to unfold in your heart. Your thoughts enrich the tapestry of shared experiences, making the allure of this cinematic treasure timeless. Embark on more cinematic adventures, and until our next rendezvous with the silver screen.